brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Sweden Sweden, officially the Kingdom of Sweden, is a Scandinavian country in Northern Europe. It borders Norway to the west and northern Finland to the east, and is connected to Denmark in the southwest by a bridge tunnel across the Öresund. At Sweden is the third largest country in the European Union by area, but with a total population of 10.0 million it has a low population density of the highest concentration is in the southern half of the country. Approximately 85% of the population lives in urban areas. Germanic peoples have inhabited Sweden since prehistoric times, emerging in two history as the Geats, Gotar and Swedes, Svea, and constituting the sea peoples known as the Norsemen. Southern Sweden is predominantly agricultural, while the north is heavily forested. Sweden is part of the geographical area of Furno Scandia. The climate is in general very mild for its northerly latitude due to significant maritime influence. That in spite of this still retains warm continental summers. Today, Sweden is a constitutional monarchy and parliamentary democracy, with her monarch as head of state. The capital city is Stockholm, which is also the most populous city in the country. Legislative power is vested in the 349-member unicameral Riksdag. Executive power is exercised by the government chaired by the Prime Minister. Sweden is a unitary state, currently divided into 21 counties and 290 municipalities. Sweden emerged as an independent and unified country during the Middle Ages. In the 17th century, it expanded its territories to form the Swedish Empire, which became one of the great powers of Europe until the early 18th century. Swedish territories outside the Scandinavian peninsula were gradually lost during the 18th and 19th centuries, ending with the annexation of present-day Finland by Russia in 1809. The last war in which Sweden was directly involved was in 1814, when Norway was militarily forced into personal union. Since then, Sweden has been at peace maintaining an official policy of neutrality in foreign affairs. The union with Norway was peacefully dissolved in 1905, leading to Sweden's current borders. Though Sweden was formally neutral through both world wars, Sweden engaged in humanitarian efforts, such as taking in refugees from German-occupied Europe. After the end of the Cold War, Sweden joined the European Union on 1 January 1995. A declined NATO membership, as well as Eurozone membership following a referendum. It is also a member of the United Nations, the Nordic Council, Council of Europe, the World Trade Organization and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Sweden maintains a Nordic social welfare system that provides universal health care and tertiary education for its citizens. It has the world's eighth highest per capita income and ranks highly in numerous metrics of national performance, including quality of life, health, education, protection of civil liberties, economic competitiveness, equality, prosperity, and human development. Etymology The modern name Sweden is derived through backformation from Old English Sweotheodum, which meant people of the Swedes. This word is derived from swan, swanners. The Swedish names very literally means realm of the Swedes, excluding the Geats in Gotland. Variations of the name Sweden are used in most languages, with the exception of Danish and Norwegian using Sveria, Faroese Svoriki, Icelandic Svvjoth, and the more notable exception of some Finnic languages where Ruotsi and Rootsi are used. Names commonly considered etymologically related to the English name for Russia, referring 
to the people, Ruse, originally from the coastal areas of Roslagen, Upperland. The etymology of Swedes, and thus Sweden, is generally not agreed upon, but may derive from Proto-Germanic Swihon as meaning one's own, referring to one's own Germanic tribe. Prehistory Sweden's prehistory begins in the Alarod Oscillation, a warm period around 12,000 BC, with late Paleolithic reindeer hunting camps of the Brom culture. At the edge of the ice in what is now the country's southernmost province, Scania. This period was characterized by small bands of hunter-gatherer fishers using flint technology. Sweden is first described in a written source in Germania by Tacitus in 98 AD. In Germania 44 and 45 he mentions the Swedes as a powerful tribe with ships that had a prow at each end. Which kings ruled these Sweones is unknown, but Norse mythology presents a long line of legendary and semi-legendary kings going back to the last centuries BC. As for literacy in Sweden itself, the runic script was in use among the South Scandinavian elite by at least the 2nd century AD. But all that has come down to the present from the Roman period is curt inscriptions on artifacts, mainly of male names, demonstrating that the people of South Scandinavia spoke Proto-Norse. At the time, a language ancestral to Swedish and other North Germanic languages. In the 6th century Jordanus names two tribes living in Skansa, both of which are now considered to be synonymous with the Swedes, the Suedidi and Suans. Suedidi is considered to be the Latin form of Svidjoth, the Old Norse name for the Swedes. Jordanus describes the Suedidi and Danny as being of the same stock in the tallest of people. He later mentions other Scandinavian tribes as being of the same stature. The Suins were known to the Roman world as suppliers of black fox skins and, according to Jordanus, had very fine horses, similar to those of the Thyringi of Germania. The Icelandic historian Snorri Sturluson also wrote that the Swedish king Adels had the finest horses of his day. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.